Hello everybody, this is AB from Blender52 and today I want to talk about vertex painting and how it can help take your low poly renders from good to great. So what is vertex painting? Vertex painting is where we are able to assign individual colors to each vertice on our model. So if we pop into the sculpt that I've done, you can see that it's a really high, high density, high poly model with tons of vertices and we can have an individual color assigned to each one of these separate vertices. Now this has come a long way in recent releases of Blender and it's an absolute game changer. But I'm going to show you how these same techniques can be applied to individual polygons or faces in your low poly models for better results. Okay, so first things first, what do we need to do in order to set up our model for vertex painting? So we've got a little iconosphere here. We're going to add a new material and then under our object data properties, we're going to come here to vertex colors and we're just going to hit that little plus button and you'll see that we've now got a colors tab there. So we're going to come back to our material, shift A, search, vertex color. We're going to join that to our base color and then over here, we're just going to click and we're going to click that same color. So now our vertex colors are linked to our material. Okay, so let's hop into viewport shading so that we can see the colors on our model. And then we're just going to go into vertex paint, which you can also do by pressing control tab, vertex paint. And now what we can do is we can select a color. Let's go for like a blue and we can say paint set vertex colors. Now all of our vertexes are set to this blue color. So what do we do if we want to change individual faces? What we have to do is we have to come up here and you've got these two little toggles. You have to toggle on paint mask. Now, if we right click on any face of our model, we can select it. We can change our color. And again, we can say set vertex colors. Now, if we go back to object mode, you will see that that face now has a slightly different color. So how do we use this in our actual low poly scenes to help make our artwork more interesting? Now you can see this scene that I'm working on at the moment for this week's Blender 52 theme, which happens to be low poly. You can see that we've got some really nice varied shading colors on our moon. Now I've done that using vertex painting. So I'm just going to isolate the moon for a second using the backslash key. And you can see that the colors changed a bit. That's just because of our lighting. And if we go into the viewport mode, we can see how I've changed some of these individual faces using vertex painting. So again, we're just going to press control tab to go into vertex paint. And then we can choose any, any faces we want. You can use, select multiple faces using the shift key. And then we're just going to change our color a little bit. Let's make them a little bit darker. We're going to say paint and we're going to say set vertex colors. And now you can see they've changed to that darker color. Once again, control tab back into object mode. And you can now see that those vertices are the darker color. So if we go back into our regular mode, out of isolated mode, we can now see that these darker shades are there. And what this does is that you can actually just use them to help draw the eye along your composition. So if I just go back to my original file quickly, so that we can see how I had it set up, I've deliberately changed certain faces not only to create a variety of color for interest, but also to control the direction and the flow of the R up through the smokestack. And we want the focal point to be on our rocket. Now we've already made it red, which is fantastic and draws the eye in, but we can put a little bit of color variation there just to really sell the point. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's just, let's just isolate the rocket for a second so that we can see what we're doing. Now in low poly modeling, triangles are absolutely critical because they can vary your light a little bit and they can just make your low poly models look that much more interesting. So we've just added in some cuts there. We're gonna just raise that vertice a little bit 
and you'll see that's going to make some changing in the lighting and then we're just going to control tab vertex paint we're going to use the paint mask and we're going to select that vertex over there and then we're just going to make this color a little bit more more orange maybe a little bit brighter we're going to say paint set vertex colors now when we control tab back into object mode you can see that we've got a slightly different color there now maybe that's not enough of a difference so let's just go control vertex paint let's select this one this time and let's go with more of a, a yellow and we're going to say paint set to vertex color back into object mode and now you can see we've got this kind of visual interest going on so if we go out of isolation mode back to our camera you can now see that we've got this little bit of color variation that just draws the, the eye in now that's maybe a little bit dramatic i probably wouldn't use that in my final composition but it gives you a good idea of what's possible in vertex painting okay so i just wanted to give you one more little example this is from last year's low poly theme and you can just see here how i created some kind of visual interest on the body of the frog with all these little triangles that are a slightly different color and again all i did was when i went into edit mode i made these new little cuts to make these small little triangles and then i literally just went into vertex paint i was able to select the ones that i wanted change the color to something make that a little bit brighter say paint vertex colors and now you can see that those have changed control tab back into object mode and you can see we can just bring in some visual interest which breaks up the surface and again just takes your low poly model from good to great so that's about it for this tutorial i wanted to make this specifically because this week's blender 52 theme is low poly if you don't know what Blender 52 is by this point, please head over to Blender52.com. We are the only community that uses 52 themes over the 52 weeks of the year in order to help you stay motivated, in order to help you to learn and grow in Blender. I once again want to say thank you to my Patreon supporters, Mr. Nigel Hillier, Unfi Kulianzi, and Crow3D. If you would like to support us on Patreon, please head on over and do that. Otherwise, please hit that subscribe button, give us a like, let's keep making this community better, and cheers.